This doesn't look or sound like your typical pediatrician visit. How's today going? It, it's good. He, he stopped being cranky. Um, he's taking the antibiotics really well. From her Northern California home, Colleen Beeson has logged on to VC, a free telehealth app on her iPad, to video chat with a doctor in Florida about her son Darian's ear infection. It's nice to be able to put the TV on for the toddler, and then I could talk to the doctor with no interruptions. Two, three. VC was designed for families like the Beesons, people who live in remote areas here in the U.S. or even worldwide who have non-emergency medical concerns. Last year in the U.S., there were 900 million doctor visits in the U.S., and people estimate about 50 percent of that 900 million could be done remotely. VC founder and CEO Milton Chen says while other services like Skype and Google Video are good for consumer uses, VC is the first HIPAA-compliant, FDA-registered telehealth app that is free to patients. Patients pay the medical provider, who then in turn pay VC a usage fee. Saving a long trip to San Francisco, saving money on parking in San Francisco, there's a lot of benefits and I think patients are really excited by the opportunity. Kate Loringer, a licensed genetic counselor at University of California San Francisco Medical Center, particularly likes VC for the ability to simultaneously view documents during a video chat. We can really easily send them the family tree that we're looking at and we can actually use electronic pen to circle areas of the pedigree that we're focusing in on. In less than two years on the market, tens of thousands of patients and thousands of doctors have used VC. More are coming online daily, proving telemedicine visits are going to become commonplace. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.